Hi, these comments are for CRJ. This is Michael. Thank you for sending me your speaking practice test. I am from BetterTOEFLScores.com. You're one of my online TOEFL course students, a speaking boot camp course student nonetheless. And I'm going to give you some feedback on the, the uh, speaking practice test that you sent me. I have the TOEFL IBT rubrics here. Uh, I have your practice test here. Let me listen to the whole thing one time and then I'll give you some comments. I definitely prefer to work from home rather than office. I feel this way for several reasons. First, okay. by working at home, I can save commute time. I can save an hour in a day that makes me to save five hours in a week. This free hour I can enjoy with my family by playing with kids and enjoy with them. Okay. Secondly, by working at home, I can avoid the disturbance. The disturbance that, oh, that is made by my office colleague in the office, such as talking, chit-chatting, and eating food, which avoid me to focus in the office task. That's why I feel this is the best way to work from home. Yeah, I'd probably say distractions instead of the disturbance there. I think that might work better. Um, I'm looking at the rubrics here. CRJ, let's take a look. Uh, I'm thinking you're probably pretty close to a three. I'm going to say maybe 21 to 23 points out of 30. So my first impression when it comes to pronunciation, you want to be careful about your grammatical word endings. Things like S's, I-N-G's, E-D's, any type of grammatical ending. Uh, you're not always pronouncing those. So if you go to my online TOEFL course to the pronunciation section, you can review the lessons. Uh, they are called syllable division and grammatical word endings. I think you can benefit by studying in that area. Um, okay, let's listen to it one more time. And I'm going to go slower this time. I definitely prefer to work from home rather than office. I feel this way for several reasons. I would just say I def. I would say I definitely prefer working from home instead of the office because, right? And then you can say, because I can save time and I can avoid distractions. So maybe include those two support points in the introduction there, right with that sentence. And then you can get rid of all that other stuff. And especially, I feel this way for two reasons or several reasons. That That's a very overused sentence. By working at home, I can save commute time. I can save commuting time. I can save an hour in a day that makes me to save five hours. Now, what if you say, for example, right now, uh, I live I live outside of Bangkok, but I have to drive into Bangkok every day. So it takes me one hour each each way to uh, go to my job. So I'm spending roughly 10 to 12 hours each week just being stuck in traffic because I have to go into the office to work. In a week. This free hour I can enjoy with my family. But these few hours, right? You can say these few hours or these 8 to 10 additional hours uh, commuting hours I can spend with my family. By playing with kids and enjoy with them. See? How about by playing by playing with my kids and enjoying spending time with them, you might say. Secondly, by working at home I can avoid the disturbance. The disturbance that are... How about this? In additionally, I can avoid distractions. Let me go back. Sometimes you're using a lot of similar sentence styles. Secondly, by working at home, I can avoid the disturbance. I can avoid the disturbance that oh, that is made by my office colleague. In I can avoid distractions made by my colleagues, such as the office, such as talking, chit-chatting, and eating food, which avoid me to focus in the office task. That's why I feel this is the best way to work from home. Okay, so. I think that my score is pretty accurate. I'm going to say 21 to 23 points out of 30 on this practice test. I think the delivery is the, if I look at delivery languages and topic development, I think the delivery is a bigger concern than the other two areas. With language use, I think you could do better. It's called syntactic variety. 
this means that you're using a variety of different kinds of sentences when you're speaking. You're using uh, longer and then sometimes shorter sentences. I have a good lesson for you here to help you with this. Go over to bettertoefelscores.com, type in the keywords TOEFL sentence variety, and you can learn a little bit more about that. You'll see it in the, there's a search box in the, in the uh, at my blog, not Google, but in the blog itself. Even if you type in, if you go to Google and type in TOEFL sentence variety and then put better TOEFL scores, you'll also find that article. And I think that's a good lesson for you right now is to learn how to vary your sentence style a little bit more than what you did.